for November 28th, 2011, continues with the election in Democratic Republic of the Congo. Here it is. They have seven candidates. And already before the elections uh, got started, that they broke out into a good fight. <clears throat> hey, that could be WWE style of uh, election. We need something like that. But anyway, the DR Congo have it for Monday and already three three people got killed that's why they say they better start war than to start a business or to have a new president or PM hey, they are only going to be making about five hundred dollars a year compared to the people who are only making three hundred dollars or less a year you wouldn't believe that they was running out of uh, ballot paper they, they it was so bad that when they was filling it out they was filling it out from a newspaper or they got some of that material from the newspaper which the people do not want to read because it's full of crap. And then they trying to stuff it in. They're like, well, let me see. I can't fit it in. <laughs> You're only picking seven people and you can't even fit it in. Have a size of a newspaper. And then when you're trying to carry the, the votes, the, the ballot boxes is so heavy, you have to put in a... a, a <laughs> You got to have a hand truck. <laughs> Stuff it in. Put it on there. And, and then put it into a uh, truck. Make sure that it don't fall off. Or else you could be like uh, Afghanistan. Start putting it in a truck and let it. Hopefully some of the ballots will be uh, falling off the truck. <laughs> But anyway, the thing is, they need help. They need other countries in Africa, maybe who is stabled, to help Congo. The one that had the richest resources in the world, now third world country yeah, thanks to their very first president who destroyed it and tried to have western countries to exploit and then buy it everything to make the people poor That's sad. But what can the, the new president would do? And how would they make money? Hopefully they don't go into terrorism. Then you can call on Al Shabaab and Boko Haram. Maybe they can help you. I'll be back with LTL and a Ooh.